to make a decision on this floor upstairs. I want to put the lino thing on. Hey. I'm thinking about the lino. You know that lino that looks like wood flooring? What are we talking about? What for? The room upstairs. Right. But I would prefer to get somebody in to do it, but I know that yes. you're going to say you want to do it. I'm not going to say that, but if we can do it, why not do it? Oh my God, because Mark, you won't be able to do it. I hate to say this to you, but you won't be able to do it. I have these. What's that going to do? They pull out tacks. I've got that, oh my God. which is for climbing mountains. And I've got the, the crowbar. Basically, I've got crowbars and I've got... What, but how is that going to make you put, put down... Like, that's not what you need to well, put Well, no, but this at the very least will pull up the carpet. Where have you got these from? Well, I, I kind of prepared for this. Oh, Mark. Max I'd... Power. I don't Max think... Max Power. I don't think... Max you... Power. I don't think you should be in charge of things like that. They these look are dangerous. Great. These are for pulling teeth out. So I think we should go and have a look and see if we need to. Why get a man when you've got a man who can? <sighs> because I haven't got a man that can. I've got a man who just bloody can't. Oh, God. Would you have a look? Mark has got himself some new tools. I've just shown them. Lee's husband. Are you oh, standing by the fa- Did you nearly take feet. your penis off? No, it nearly landed on my sandal foot. <laughs> So basically, we need to change the floor up here. This floor, okay? This floor, okay? Mark thinks he can change the floor. He can do it. He believes that he can believe, take the carpet up and then lay lino. Pulling a carpet up is not dissimilar to just scrabbling at the floor like a madman. I'm just going to tear at the corners, babe. Show them your tools. Look, look, Show got, them, look what he's got look, himself. I've got that for getting the sort of tacks out. Yeah, that gets the tacks out. Look, no, sorry, this gets the tacks out. That gets the bits of wood off. No, no, this pulls the carpet up. No, this pulls the carpet Mark, up. Mark, stop being stupid. I'm not. These are actually called crowbars. Why are they called crowbars? What's a crow got to do with it? What do you, you think? feel sorry for me. So that we've got all these you. tools. He's all got all the gear and no idea. Then oh, he's planning to measure the lino and buy the lino, all... which looks like wood flooring. So that means it's going to have to be lined up, Mark. With all due respect, measuring is not your forte. That's and why I, managed... I did. I say I was doing the measuring, and I managed to get Kiki's blinds up. Seamlessly without your help. Okay. So, I'm still kind of confused as to which one's going board, which means it makes most sense, most sense to paint the walls and ceiling with the carpet down, because if we know the carpet's coming out, and it's definitely coming out, isn't it? I mean, what can come Hang on, there? hang on. It is not better yes, it is. to do the painting with the carpet down. Yes, it is. Why? Of the walls, not the wood, of the, the walls. Just do the walls and But it's going it. to be very dusty pulling up that carpet, Mark. It's all going to go into the walls. Babe, once it's painted Babe. and once it's dried, it won't go into it. If you pull this all up first, is Oh no, they need to wash the walls. Well, which order do you want to do it in? I'm Please, the husband. Can. I'm the man who say to him? You now? decide what you want. Oh, you're the guy. Okay, right. What do you want? But the thing is, you're never ever going to be available to take this bloody carpet up. What? That's the thing. What's the bit? You won't out? let me What's... get an available man, and you're never available. The only thing is, the subs will have only just seen that I put up. Oh, look, oh, all those figures. They look so cute. Um, that wonderful desk that she's got over there. I didn't have a screwdriver small enough to attach the internal drawer. Okay. So just when we pull it out, we have to lift. Also, we do have that move. is the table that when he put it up and I walked towards it, he screamed at me to stop yeah. because I was getting too close no, to I it. I said to Mandy, make sure you just don't pull the drawers out hard because I didn't have a screwdriver small enough. You kept mocking the size of my screwdriver and I needed an even smaller screwdriver to fucking finish it. But you came in, got forward, fell on the floor, snot coming out of your nose with laughter, humiliated me and then walked off. Anyway, so we have to carry that desk out. We are not carrying the that. room that I have cleared. We are not carrying that desk out. We can put plastic sheeting over it. I've got really good plastic sheeting, Mark. 
Huh? I've got really good light plastic sheet and I can put completely over that. And then in this room we need to sort out. Where are all those clothes I was supposed to sort out? They've gone, they're in the car. So this is just all my, these are all my old diaries. Oh, they're all God, try to think. Diary, 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 diary. So, um, so this is going to be a really nice little spare room. Well, yeah, and I was thinking, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that we could put fucking Nanny Di in it so she doesn't wake us up with a don't fucking kettle, not permanently, when she stays. I don't think that works for Maddie at bedroom. all. What is this going to work? What are we going to use this for? I don't know. Okay, guys, so look. <laughs> We've do you like my t-shirt? We have done something insane. We have, to, we have agreed to take one of our daughters and all their friends to the festival, right? The plan has gone on for weeks. It's also GCSE results. It's also her birthday. And it's also two of her friends which just turned up. We got up, we got up at seven because we were supposed to be leaving at eight. They only just arrived up at eight and they've forgotten their passports. In fact, I'm going to pop a photo up with all their faces actually mosaic so you can just see how crammed the car is. And you know. now we've got to possibly drive past one Don't of their house and get, and get back to see them passports. Oh, fucking hell. Have to, it says, if you look under 25, you must bring photo ID. How old is Stand he? How old is he? 16. Oh, mate. <laughs> Oh, mate. Okay, let me pump in his address. Can you get his postcode? Meanwhile, Toffee's dressed for Reading. She's going raving. I'm going to pop up a poster of the one Reading festival I went to. It looks like a wanted poster in a western. There's an emergency need for the toilet with one of our group. So they've had to, Mark's had to pull up and they have now gone to hospital. We're funny, very funny, because they've had to go to hospital. That's like the biggest public toilet I've ever come across. <laughs> the front of it. I can't believe it's the Royal Berkshire Hospital. The beginning of our exciting trip to Reading. Reading. They don't Reading. say there's a lot in Reading other than Oscar Wilde's jail cell. So I'd like to go and see that. Yeah, I've I'd been love in there. to go and see that. Yeah. But we're going to try and find some hidden gems in Reading. So is there a Nando's? I don't believe so. Oh, I thought that was one of the hidden gems. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Look at them. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is where we're going to pick you up. God, how many people come to this then? A hundred thousand teenagers being dropped off. Wow, man. This is nuts. <laughs> Oh yeah, the bungee pulls. Every good you've been missing it, everything's been moving past and everything's been flying off. Yeah, no, they have to be the right type. Look, theirs looks really compact. So now it feels a bit like they've left home. It really does. Right. I do too. It's a big moment for Cooch, this. I've never not been with either of them on their birthday. It's a birthday tour. <laughs> moment just wanted to say it is just like <laughs> sending your kids off to college 
but it's for four days. <laughs> but it's been, I mean, the thing is, the thing is, only people who really, really intimately know everything know what a major milestone this is for kooks and us. It's a, it's a, big, it's a big deal. This is a big deal. That's oh. big. Okay, I'm going to hand this to you. You're going to film a shot of them as we walk past. I've been watching a lot of these trolleys just pin and fly open. Um, <clears throat> oh my God, it's just so sweet. It's like a mini grown-up. It is. It's a right, totally. Thing. This has rights of. It should be called the rights of passage car park. Yeah. Shouldn't it? The amount of kids that have made their first steps away from pet from their parents in this car park. Yeah. That's so funny. Hills Meadow, guys. Remember Hills it, Meadow. Hills Meadow. And this is where we're going to pick them up at one o'clock in the morning so she can watch the last. It's very small, isn't it? And we'll be coming back here on Sunday. It's now Wednesday, so we're staying in the local area. We'll be coming back to this car park about one o'clock in the morning <laughs> to pick them up so they can watch the last band. But also, we'll be coming back. Oh my God, we're going to be back and forth to this car park so many times. I'm just going to turn it around then I'll finish off telling you what's we'll going to happen. We might see them already stranded. Is this them? No, oh no, no. no. They've made good progress. No, they've made good progress. Oh, there they are, they've gone. They're on the opposite oh, side they're... of the road, they've done it. Oh, they've gone. <laughs> we kind of caught them, but we didn't. Yeah, so basically, we have dropped them off. Oh God, it's right here. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my God, where we're going is two seconds from where we've just dropped them off. That is so bizarre. You know, they do breakfast here. Everywhere you look, there's kids with backpacks. Tell them about the genius little find. Well, the genius little find was the Thames Lido. I think, it, is it an old Victorian Lido? It's, a, it's kind of quite flash, but it's right next to, it is an old Lido. I think it was Victorian that they built on. Anyway, so this is the car park right next to Reading Festival. Um, We're all prepared for a great long, complicated, complicated drive, two minutes from where we just were. Yeah, two minutes. It, it's so hot. Yeah. It's perfect festival weather. This is the day earlier than all the music starts. So they're heading in early. Um, and yeah, wow. I mean, literally, it made us almost crash that the car park was right next to where we turned left. Watching the girls and the boys just heading oh off across God. the... Anyway, so Naz is now popping on some makeup. We were going to do a coffee morning in the car. No, we're going to do a coffee morning later from our hotel. I'm not entirely convinced we're going to be able to really find... The thing about Reading is it's a bit like Kingston. It's one big A road in a loop or a series of A roads in a loop. It's not like you can walk through Reading. It's not like a city you walk through. You drive to places. There is a shopping promenade and then that's it. Have you got um, any sunglasses? I haven't got any sunglasses. Oh God, you can... Where are mine? I've just had them. They went up on the thingy. They, they, they might have fallen down the side. So yeah, so what are we doing here? Are we Are getting lunch or are we having sex? Yeah. I mean, sorry, a spa. Ha. Are we going for a swim? No, we're not going for a swim, unfortunately. Oh, that's good. I did off. Guess what? what? I tried to get space, but none left. Oh, right. The swimming. You have to book the swimming. All right. Go I offered. I offered all the team poo bags. You never know. You might need a poo bag. You could. could, could really especially if you gaffer taped it to each buttock and aim. Gaffer tape a poo bag to each buttock and aim. That's good, isn't it? Portable toilet. Also, what, you know what I'm most worried about? What? Those bloody things pinging into their eyes. Well. Yeah, they're tight. I did say to them, look away when you unping them. I'm going to text Sally. Yeah, remind them to look away. Keith's got a very sensible friend. Yeah, Mark, sensible friend. Have I put the glasses on the roof? Hmm? You put my... Okay, so I'm going to... I don't know if you saw, there's a car that's been broken into over there, so I'm going to go and pay and... Um, Hang on. What have you? Hang on. Got... Do you know what? I think we've done... I think we've landed on our feet. Hang on. You're right. No. Parked. Bite to eat. Huh? She left her phone. What are you looking for, babe? I've found my sunglasses and now I've lost my bloody phone. Oh, I, I was to take my sunglasses out of the bag you... and put the phone in instead. Bite your knickers. Oh, Both the doors are open, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fascinated to see whether this is 
actually as nice as it looks on Instagram, or it's one of those Instagram versus reality situations. Well, look, kissing style, not quite. It all looks a bit too good. Because I'm going to be honest, all I've ever heard about wedding is that it's a bit of a shithole. Yeah, and I, 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 yeah, was here for years with a, an ex. Which is never nice for people no, that live people in a place. Who live it. Surrounding so, countryside is lovely. Caversham, Henley, Sonning. Oh, nice. All those places. So we're going to try and find some nice places in Reading. And my God, we've been here 10 minutes. And we're already walking up so a tree-lined... Oh, hang on a minute, look at this. And look at this kid having his breakfast before he goes to Reading. Yeah. Boys. Boys. hilarious. Cornflakes. His mum's bought in cornflakes. So this is so the this is spa reception where you can have massages and restaurant this way. Yeah, see, I think it was originally what this is what it was. It looks very much like a municipal toilet at the moment. Is this a restaurant? Oh, it is a restaurant. Oh, wow. What nuts is that? Oh, this is like something in LA. This is so cute. It's literally, I've never been anywhere like it. I just absolutely love it. And we're here for how many days and there isn't one ticket available to swim. <laughs> Do you have to book? <laughs> Which is good. That's why they've kept it nice, isn't it? Well, you've got this curious situation here, isn't it? There's not hundreds of people all like, it's just really exclusive it feels. I would feel very intimidated about swimming in front of mm. this kind of audience that's eating, wouldn't you? That's what I was thinking. I've never had a great breaststroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't tell. I feel like a five-year-old that's at a swimming party and been told they can't get in the pool. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> because the pool is such a beautiful blue as well. Oh my God, five. Not only is this like a paradise, no, it ain't this. And utterly bizarre. Mark and I just said we fill up in the parallel universe. But the food, we only had the almonds and the salad so far is sensational. You can judge a good venue oh. by its nuts. The nuts have been fried here. We've got gorgeous sea salt. The most perfect sherry vinegar dressing and this beautiful salad that has just been made. I'm just looking at other people's dishes as well, which looks fun. I think we'll just stay here the whole time they're in Reading. We're sending photos to Kiki. Yeah, it? She's currently dragging her thing, her IKEA, what is it? IKEA trolley through mud or through dried She had the mud. best packed trolley Didn't anyone she? at that festival. Didn't she? Right, let's try this. Look at that. I haven't eaten a sardine that looks this good for years. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's like the old days when you used to get sardines in Spain. But oh no, I'm gonna go and get Kiki and she loves sardines. She's got far better sardines to fry. <laughs> oh, get Kiki and get the sardines. She's got bigger sardines to fry, I tell you. Mm. She's gonna be sleeping like sardines. I'll tell you one thing though, my legs are getting burned. Yeah, so my feet, my feet. So hot. Look at my look at my veins. I've got some sun cream. Sun cream? <laughs> in Reading. I didn't realise it was <laughs> just... We'd get more burn in Reading than we did in Yorker. <laughs> oh, we're getting burnt by the sea salt as well. I didn't realise it was just a barata. I so want you to have some sardine. I hate sardines. No, I, don't like these sardines. I hate the little bones. They get stuck in your throat. No. no. Please try it. A little squeeze of lemon. Just a little. Mm. But literally, the last time I, got, I ate fish with a bone, it got stuck in my throat when I was on a trip to Versailles with a girlfriend. And it stuck in That's my throat. That's Dina is here now. What would it she say? Stuck Another in my throat. bloody girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. She lived in Versailles <laughs> and it's stuck in my throat for three days. I've never been able to eat fish. As soon as I feel a bone in my mouth, I go, it was, I thought Christ. it was going to die. Give it back to me. Yeah, I don't I... want to live with this. No, it's a little bone. Don't like it. A little bone. Look what he's putting back on my plate. <laughs> okay, we're 
Okay, what do you think of this place, though? We haven't heard your opinion yet. See, I've just got one stuck in my throat. So I've just swallowed it. <laughs> like I did in Effing Lisbon. Darling, they're like pet hair. Okay, have a not. bit of burrata. That was we so sang. funny. You did a pretend smile. Where it's are burning. we? It's Put that down, because I need to get phone no, 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 that's no, no, the ground. No, no, no. We've travelled the world and not found one. <laughs> That's like my nostril here. <laughs> it's so... Yeah. That is stupid. Oh, I've burnt my fingers off. Wow. Cool now. <laughs> <laughs> we can't believe what we're having here. This is better Spanish food than we had in Spain. Better food than anything we've eaten in Europe for the last three years. De oh, we've got to bring Dina here just for the for lunch. Unless you can jump in there. Oh, then you're not allowed. Look at that. That's like the thing you made in Siam, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the thing Dina made. And look at this. Look. I had to cut it off Toffee's head. <laughs> and that is probably the best looking potato broth. I've never seen them as good as that in Spain. The chef must be Spanish. Oh my God. It is nice. He's done a spin around. See, I'm not a fan of a burrata. I know, you always say, Bleh. but look, let's go. Dun, dun. Oh. That for me is sexy. Oh, yeah. Because it. <laughs> oh, Mark. I'm not going to keep that in. We've stumbled across. Everything at Sorry, just a drop. The best Every... restaurant we've been in a long time yeah. in this country. I'm afraid Everything to say. about. Who found it? He did. Everything about this is about the uh, oil and the salt and the pepper. This sourdough bread, they've got a wood oven over there that they're making fresh sourdough flatbread. And this is heaven. Oh my god, it's so fresh and oh my god. Absolutely delicious. Dina. <laughs> Destruction. Oh my. What? We could book a massage. And then a two-hour pool sauna steam hot tub session. Well, yeah, but it all has to happen in here in front of people. It's a bit intimidating, isn't it? A classic Lido massage. A couple's massage. What is a couple's massage? A pregnant. You both in the same room. You get massaged at the same time. Don't. There's no happy ending. So don't think about that. Back, neck, and shoulder. Oh, nice back, neck, and shoulder. Mm -hmm. 3.15 tomorrow? £3.15. £3.15. If you can get anywhere near this Lido tomorrow, I will eat my hat. I can. As long as I have a massage and tapas. There are two women. We've had like our starters on mains and everything, and they have the entire time just been swimming up and down, up and down, up and down, talking. They've covered restaurants they're going to go to, theatre shows here, they're just about to go past. Their kids, their husbands, Oh gosh, how brilliant. There you go, there they go. The entire time just chatting up and down the pool, up and down the pool. <laughs> God, that's multitasking, isn't it? Catching up while swimming. Out of vision, they're also on Without Instagram. Without rose. <laughs> Under the water, they're on Instagram. <laughs> So guys, we've just had a message, a strident, strangled message. The girls have managed to put up their tent, but Kiki just went, where's my food? And for days, her and Nadia have been going through all of the kind of snack bars, pop noodles, everything that you can't get to lay your hands on there so you don't have to use lots of money. And she kept saying, and I'm so worried I'm gonna be hungry when I'm there. I've got loads of, it's in the bloody footwell of the car. It's by Nadia's feet. Oh my God, all the food, they've got no food. And we're sitting here eating fucking rice pudding and what's that? Sherry I'm ice cream. I'm having a lovely We're having a lovely time and I'm almost Mark, drunk and I haven't had a drink. I said to Mark, it'll be carrots building. Meanwhile, how is the cold rice pudding with pistachio and strawberries? So nice. <laughs> so nice. Why is it so nice? Is it very, it's very just sweet? creamy. No, it's creamy. And it's flavoursome. And it's just divine. I love it. It's even better than Anton Mosiman's. Oh, God, and that's saying something. You must feel like an absolute douche. Absolutely not. It was by your feet. No, but there was tons of bags by my feet. I had all the bags by my feet, the crisps, and everything. Just, but well, she's really upset. Oh, 
Oh, the delightful smell of scrimmer petrol. So when we went in there, we said, we want to work, we want to find out whether this is a kind of Instagram versus reality. Yeah. Well, it was not. It, it was, was Instagram, Instagram was reality. versus Instagram. It was absolutely, in fact, joyful. I think it was even other than Instagram. It was, it was really relaxed, really chilled, really sunny. It was really not well. We got a few shots of the food. The food was great. The service was great. Rosie was lovely. The staff was lovely. The waiter was lovely. Proper, proper nice. Oh, I think Hey? I think I'm going to book a massage. Fair dues. Do it. For tomorrow. You could have a station where you sit and do your work. Yeah, did she not sound a little bit annoyed about those people? No. Then no, she said there's a place where you could do it. Ah. It, that's where you buy a, you buy a, so in there also they do a three hour work station. There's one of the festival car parks. What about the big taxi? Yeah. There's an entrance over there. Oh my fucking Christ, you're not going to guess what's happened. What? I put my right foot in a whole fucking stinging bunch nettles. of stinging nettles and my ankles I are killing me. That. Oh, you absolute idiot. Absolutely and killing me. But we've got Kiki's food. Yeah. She can have it tomorrow though. Because don't forget, we're getting them out. Not tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Jesus Christ, you cannot process this information. What are you wrong So with? why were you Honestly, saying let's God, not go to Oxford we if we weren't told, going to Oxford anyway? thousand times right what's happening we have this horrendous thing that kiki's enrollment day for her college is on friday so we have to pick her up from the festival and take her all the way back to college and then bring her all the way back so then we're back here for another two days so we were going to be in reading for the first two nights but if we felt like it drive to Oxford tomorrow, vlog there, drive back to Reading, stay the night so we're ready. Was that what we were going to do? Yes, we've talked about all of that. I thought we were just going to, Ox to Oxford. Yeah, I thought we were just going to Oxford for the last two and days. And Oxford is... Sorry, Henley. Henley. Oh, fucking hell, I don't know. We were going to do... Uh, please, let's just go. I'm too hot. I can't do these fucking arrangements anymore. So we weren't going to Reading tonight? Tomorrow night? Oxford when we come Henley back. Didn't come. Mark, please drive the car because I'm going to kill you. I don't know what I'm putting in the so sat nav because I don't know where we're going. By my feet. I don't know where we're going. Please put the aircon on. I'm dying. It's on. You've turned these off for some reason. <laughs>